you guys start, right, I mean, where, did we all start? Okay. <laughs> BSI, scene safety, personal safety, partner safety, patient safety. Everything is safe for this. Environmental hazards, there are no environmental hazards. Number of patients, one. Mechanism of injury, what happened to you? I bumped my head. She bumped her head. On, on a beam, on what? On a table. On a table, okay, she bumped her head on a table. Mechanism of injury. Additional resources? I don't think so, we don't need it. Need for extrication or spinal mobilization? No, I don't think we're gonna need that right now. Um, we're gonna check for ABFU. She's alert already, so you know that she's the A on the ABFU. We're checking for glare at the same time that we're checking for ABFU. So you get your general impression this woman's hit her head. Life-threatening? I don't think it's life-threatening. Ask the right questions. You saw I asked her what was going on. You asked the right questions. Respond with empathy. I'm sorry, ma'am, that you hit your head. We're gonna take care of you. My name is Christy, I'm an EMT. What's your name? Naomi. Naomi, nice to meet you. All right, she's got a patent airway. So we're gonna say airway is patent because she's speaking. She's breathing because she's speaking. So we're gonna go on and do a quick lung sound. Front lung sounds only. And we're gonna do a quick check of her respirations, 15 seconds times four, okay? It's 20 respirations. 20 respirations, normal and adequate. All right, then we're going to go on and check for, if she needed oxygen, we'd give her some at this time, but then we're going to check for circulation. So I'm going to feel her pulse. Is it fast or slow or normal? It seems normal. I'm going to go on and check the pulse. So we got the circulation, but if there was any bleeding, we would control bleeding at this time. And if she was not breathing and had no pulse, we would begin CPR. Got that? All right, so next we're checking for disab disabilities and deformities. We'll say she has a big bump on her head. So there's a disability. So we'd expose the bump. If she was like wearing a hat, like we would take the hat off and expose the injured area. We don't have to do that. Her, she has no hat on at this time. F, we're going to formulate a plan. All right, so are we gonna load and go her or can we stay in play? I'm gonna say we can stay in play because she's pretty, her vitals are stable, no questions at this time. We'll, we'll answer questions later. Um, then we're gonna go into the whole rapid bit. And then at the rapid bit, you can just do a full touchdown, but you don't have to say anything, but start asking your sample questions. So I'm just gonna feel her. I'm gonna say, what does it feel like, the pain in your head? Like throbbing pain. Where is it? In the, my forehead. Okay. And uh, are you allergic to any medicine? No. Are you on any medications at this time? No. Do you see any uh, physicians for any past medical problems? No. Okay. What did you last eat? Pull up towards your nose, toes to nose, push down like um, your gas pedal. All right, so that looks good. What were you doing at the time? I was, I was getting them to use my direction. fingers. All right, um, then we'll do a quick fact check since she doesn't have a neck injury. I'm assuming she has no neck injury. I'm going to do a quick feel through. Check lung sounds. Pull her back. Okay. So what were you doing at the time that this started? This is onset, by the way. I was getting up to use the restroom and you tripped on the carpet. And you tripped on the carpet? Okay. Does anything make the pain worse in your head? No. Um, what does a 
the pain feel like? Is it sharp, throbbing? Throbbing. Throbbing pain? Um, does it go anywhere? All right, uh, on a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain and 10 being the most pain you've ever felt in your life, how much pain are you in? Meanwhile, I could start checking your blood pressure. Four. Four, okay. And then, what time did this happen? Around one. Around one, 1 p.m. today or 1 a.m.? 1 p.m. Okay, so now I'll say I've got a blood pressure done. Okay, I'm gonna say now I can take her on the ambulance and I can finish up the head to toe there, all right? So we load her up on the ambulance, and then we're gonna do the full deal. Now, you guys ready for it? Okay, so the, from the head, you're gonna need to say everything. So I'm checking for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, lacerations, swelling, tenderness, instability, and crepitus. On the head only, right? So I've already said that. Now I'm say, checking for battle signs, CSF, raccoon eyes, soot in the nose, soot in the mouth, broken teeth, and I don't see anything at this time. I'm going to give the pupillary check, okay? Then I'm going to check the neck for decap BLS tick. You must say decap BLS tick. And I'm checking for subcutaneous emphysema. I'm checking for uh, jugular vein distension, tracheal deviation, uh, medical alert tags, um, scars like from traps, track marks and stuff like that. And then I'm going to check for carotid pulse. Then I'm going to kind of push down the shoulders, push in at the chest, roll my arm through. I'm checking for a decap BLS tick, and paradoxal movement, lung sounds, um, subcutaneous emphysema, and uh, sucking chest wounds. And then I'm gonna check for the abdomen for uh, decap BLS tick. I'm gonna palpate all four quadrants. I'm also looking for distension, pulsating masses, rigidity, guarding, uh, distinction, I don't know if I already said that one. Um, and then I'm gonna check the pelvis. So I'm gonna check for, I'm gonna push in, push down, and I'm checking for decap BLS tick. I'm also looking for priapism, bleeding, and incontinence. And then I'm gonna move my way down the legs. And I'm checking for decap BLS tick. I'm also gonna check for pulses, fetal, tibial, popliteal, and then I'm going to go on and check for the C CMS. So toes to the nose, pull your toes towards your nose. Push down like pedals. And then what toe am I touching? The, just say something. The, I mean, the big toe. The big toe, OK. What toe am I touching? The big toe. OK, so there's your CMS. And then I'm going to check the arms, last, uh, on the front side. So. Find that offset pressure. I'm checking for decap BLS tick. I'm looking for cap refill. I'm going to pinch off for skin turgor. I'm going to check all the pulses, uh, mostly the radial pulse and the brachial pulse. And I could get a pulse at this time again if I'd like. Um, I'm going to ask for her to squeeze my hands as tight as you can, like you're breaking them. Right, which finger am I touching? Which finger am I touching? Got it. Okay, now I'm going to roll her over. On my count of three, one, two, three. I'm checking for decap BLS tick. I'm looking for sacral edema, which is the pooling in the back, the blood, uh, bleeding, and incontinence, right back here. All right, I'm going to roll her back, one, two, three. And then at this time, you can go in and check for a reset of vital signs. All right, that's it.